Greetings traders out there in trader land. D7 here with freetradingvideos.com. And markets took a nice dive the latter part of today. Really choppy today. Down, down. NASDAQ up just a smidgen, down a smidgen, down a smidgen, and up a smidgen. The VIX is up a smidgen. So anyway, smidgen, see if you can spell that. <laughs> anyway, we, we continue upward in our channel. What we have here is what kind of reversal pattern? There's for 75 extra bonus points. So down in the comments, let me know what type of reversal pattern this is. Tap Typically speaking, you need a nice up leg. This is not a nice up leg. This is the one of the choppiest up legs I've ever seen in my life. But nonetheless, we came up here nearing our resistance area. Didn't quite get up there. Retraced, giving us a watt pattern. So what am I looking for? A close. A close lower than today's low. If we tomorrow, Friday, if we can get a close lower in 866 area, if we can get below 867. Um, we should just continue down. Finding support here at the 8, oh, I'm going to say 857 area. 857 would be some support. But gang, I'm seeing if we do drop here, I'm going to draw another line. That line would go right here, giving us kind of a, another rising wedge or bringing that rounding top more into fruition. So as time ticks away, this thing's starting to weaken. It looks to um, looks to me, and I think that we're due next week. Should be our week that we should just start crashing down, barring any interesting news that might hit the markets. So, um, a couple of trades I want to look at here. This one is uh, GMCR. This is Green Mountain Coffee. Um, this thing's been doing really nice here since the February we chopped around March, but March and April, May here um, or um, April been doing really well. The start of May should be pretty nice for it too. Come out with earnings. Anytime you see a big gap like this, a big gap on, oh, let me get rid of my crosshair. A big gap on big volume. That's a telltale sign that news has come out. And you can bank your bottom dollar during this season. That's going to be earnings. And check this out. Are some of you follow First Solar. I've been watching First Solar here. Big gap and a run. And uh, boy, that was a nice play. Matador talks about the the 30-minute um, gap strategy. And that one would have been one to play on. I just missed it. I happen to be in Dow though. This is the one I told you I held over, and boy, that thing popped up. Oh, over 18% pop. So, but I didn't make very much. It was just a little mini me position that I held. Dry ships. I do hold dry ships right now. Um, had a nice bull pullback on support and a and a bounce. So I'm holding that right now and um, see if we can get some more money out of this. Dry ships is up over 13%. So Dow is up over 18, dry ships over 13. Anytime you can get 2% or more on a trade any given day, you know, that's something to write home about. That's a that's a nice trade for you. So I still have my SDS and I'm expecting to add quite a bit more to that as time progresses next week when I think that we will in fact be bearish. So I so saw a lot of you came on and registered. If you want to secure your personal username, it could be your real name or a fictitious name, this is the time to do it before it's taken. So go to the forums and register there and be happy to chat with you. I uh, love chatting with people in the um, comments and in the, in the forums. So there you have it. Until next time, we will catch you at freetradingvideos.com.